We've been engaged in a four-year teacher research partnership to better understand how kindergarten children engage in the scientific practice of modeling. And we know that that's very important. And one of the supportive features is a design learning environment. So we bring together theory and scaffolds and we have eight elements where we bring together, they work together in order to support learning over the trajectory of the unit. The University of Washington partnered with my school district, Highland School District, um, to pilot the new science curriculum that they were developing and so I volunteered to be a pilot classroom. Um, I really love science and so it's always been a passion of mine and so I was like, please pick me, come to my classroom and work with me. I've increased the amount of discourse that I've been doing in my classroom, so instead of just me talking at students, um, we'll engage in a big discussion together and chart our ideas. Um, we have a lot of students talking to each other more. Um, students will critique their, their ideas, critique the ideas of others. Um, One of the things we know from our findings is, is that students um, understanding of modeling changed over the course of the unit where at the beginning of the unit it's an activity that is assigned it's a task that we do and over time children actually initiated modeling they came to the board they co-modeled with a partner it was something they saw as an iterative cycle that is part of the learning experience. Yeah, so. In science especially, I see students talking to each other more. Um, I see students that are excited about science. They go home and they talk to their families about science. Um, they will send me pictures through email and text messages um, about science and puddles that they've seen or slides that they've seen. Um, so it's really exciting to see that they're taking science out of the classroom and into their home family lives. As you're asking students, young children, to take intellectual risks, which are public, and to feel good about it, even if their ideas are critiqued, which is something we do with science. So I believe the classroom climate is really important, the relationship between the teacher and students, but also it's not just about student participation. It's about how we participate with children in doing this work. And I think um, the climate, the norms you build in, all of it's connected. And so young children can do this kind of work and they can engage with abstract concepts like energy transfer and gravity. And not only that, they can use their ideas, the ideas of their peers, the ideas they hear in discussions, and they can add it to their models. And young children now, we now know that they can, they can model for the purpose of communicating information to an audience. They're very thoughtful about what they put in their model. And those are some of the things we didn't know before we did this study. And so I think the capability of children is just is so expansive, and our pedagogies have to keep up with what they bring to the classroom.